Hey guys, it's Over on here. Today, um, I've made three videos, one for Friday, one for Saturday, and this is my third one. This is for Sunday. Now we're back up to uh, <coughs> back up to a normal schedule. This is going to be a video showing off normal RS Media personality, the normal the normal one, on uh, roaming, uh, because people want to know what things he says when he normally roams. So first, I'm going to show you his dance because he this one has my favorite dance out of all the ones that they have made. Now I'll show you him roaming in normal mode. Whoops! God dang it! Who dare turn me on? I was in the middle of sleeping. I'm sorry. My parameters as a galaxy battle model include a title by which I I am Wow right. Robotics model. Are exit stage left. Now he's roaming. <laughs> I actually like this. Uh, I actually like this personality for its roaming. He actually has some kind of funny sayings that I, some of them I actually think about when <laughs> my other robots are roaming. So it's kind of funny. Obstacle detected. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him. RS Media is one of my favorites. While we were, <laughs> yeah, uh, RS Media is one of my more uh, favorite robots from Wowie Robotics. They made a lot of robots, but this is one of their better ones. I really like RS Media. I like how he doesn't break down like V2 does with the wires. He still breaks down in some other spots, but those are more fixable than wires. Because wires are a pain in the butt to rewire. Or, you know, changing out a gear or something like that is not nearly as... Uh, what you call it? Uh, re rewiring him is a bigger pain in the butt than replacing a gear or a motor. So I, I'd rather take that over something like uh, replacing, a, you know, a lot of wires. Which is what Kevin or Zero 635 used to do for business. He still kind of does it. Not that much, though. Um, he rewired... He rewired all my V2s that I've had. Um, the two that I currently have, he rewired. The black one, I don't think he did anything new. Look out! Oh, wow, he did see it. It's kind of... The RS Media... Supposedly, the black V2, the black RoboSapien V2, is the only RoboSapien V2 in America not, um, that was given with good wires. The ones in the UK were the other ones that are uh, good. I guess the US, I, well, Minnesota, I, I don't know. Um, basically, the, only, the black ones and the UK ones are the only ones that still work to this day. I'm, probably, I'm sure I messed up something. <laughs> when I just said America and the UK and stuff, but I don't care. <laughs> um, the UK ones and the and the black ones of the V2s are the only ones that work without requiring, you know, rewiring. Where other ones like the red ones, white ones, blue ones, silver ones, all the other all the other V2s um, that have been released by Wild Robotics that aren't that weren't UK ones. Um, all get bad wires, and then when they made the then when they made the black V2, it was made around the same time with the RS Media, and the black one when they uh, re when they brought that one out again as their their last series of the V2s, um, those are the only ones that were given good parts. I used to have a black one, but then I gave it to um, 
I gave it to Joe in videos, I think last year for Christmas. Um, so, yeah. But, and he got stuck. This isn't the most ideal place for robots roaming. Obviously, as you could probably tell. Um, so I really like the medias because they, almost all of them work. If they don't work, like if they don't power on, it's usually battery corrosion in the, uh, on the battery contacts. Hey, Shirley, can you get or, um, on the phone? This new gig just isn't doing it for me. You can, it's usually cleaning out the, um, the battery contacts of battery corrosion or maybe a wire popped off in the foot or on the board or something. These guys are pretty easy to fix when it comes if they don't turn on. Usually it's just a wire that came off or something. We're on the V2s, it could be a lot of things. It could be wires are shorting out, they're corroded, the wires are breaking down, or a wire came off, or the circuit board fried. I haven't seen it, I haven't seen very many cases in the RS medias where the circuit boards fry. I don't think I've actually heard of that, of a circuit board frying. Um, what I really like about the medias is how you can use them. Well, not only because you can make you know your own personalities, but you can use adapters with them, uh, power adapters. That way you don't have to use batteries. I really do not like how many batteries this guy uses. So I like the I like the I like how you can use a, a power adapter with them. So that way you don't burn through batteries that uh, that quickly. That way if you don't have any batteries to use or they're charging something, you can still use it. You just got to use the adapter. And with the adapter that Wild Robotics provided with it, um, none of the stuff on the lower half moves. It doesn't, it doesn't thrust or anything like that. It doesn't move back or forward. Um, but with other adapters, um, it does do that. With the chimpanzee head that the Wowie Robotics released, that adapter does work for this and he actually will walk around with it. Uh, he doesn't get very far, but he can still thrust and stuff like that. And I want one of those because that way I can still use this guy with, you know, him thrusting and doing all those normal actions. Where with this, and that he Hello, like everyone. The party has arrived. over like half of the things that he does, that like with all his actions, he can't even do. You know, people are asking what's the best way to get these things. That's kind of hard to say because if you want one that's almost guaranteed to come flawless and work really well and come with everything, you're better off getting a brand new one where if you really don't need, if you really aren't that worried about, you know, it not working or something uh, um, of it like not working or you, you want, you need something, then you, well, if you don't need something in the package, if, you're, if you already have the remote, you don't need the uh, software disk, etc. You don't need any of that stuff. You're better off saving $300 and buying one used, like what Joe Bain Videos did for this one. This one was around two was around $230, which is extremely cheap for a media. RS medias usually go for about $500 used or new. New ones go 500 to a grand, where you know usually when they're used, they go anywhere from 200 to. Usually three hundred to four hundred, three hundred to five hundred. So it was it was pretty amazing how Jordan Jovan Videos was able to find this thing three hundred dollars cheaper than what they normally go for. Uh, Project Nova Zero when he when he had his media he got a one that was brand new in the box for about five hundred dollars and this thing works pretty darn well for a media and it was three hundred dollars cheaper. And uh, it still works. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, I I prefer buying stuff online, brand new in the box. But when it comes to a media, it, it's kind of more up to you. Do you want to pay the extra three hundred plus dollars just to be guaranteed that it it works, or are you willing to take a little bit of a chance? These guys usually don't come broken. When they do, it's usually an easy fix. And I, I'm happy to help anyone that when that they buy use when it doesn't work. Hey, Shirley, did you get my agent on the phone? This um, new gig just isn't but yeah, this video is kind of getting along because so I'm talking a lot about the medias and how you buy them and stuff. But if I were to buy another media, I'd buy it used. I wouldn't buy a brand new one because I don't think a grand is worth it. Yeah, as, as rare as these guys are, I'd rather spend that grand on a DJI Phantom 3 or something like that. Uh, 
a newer uh, humanoid robot <laughs> or a drone. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry my schedule got kind of wonked up. Sorry I had to, uh, had to release three videos today. It's just I was really busy this weekend and I didn't have much time. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.